Greetings and welcome. I'm Ben and I'm going to show you how to do a simple mediation model in structural equation modeling using Levon for R. So this is the theoretical model that we're going to analyze. Um, the, th this data is an experiment that tests whether reading a, an article about two members of an opposing political party who get in a fight at a charity fundraiser um, will increase affective polarization. And the theorized mediator is um, anxiety. So they were asked after re the participants were asked after they read the article, uh, you know, to what extent did you feel awkward, defensive, or anxious while reading the article? They were actually asked about ten different emotions, but those three are used to uh, approximate anxiety. And then um, the outcome is affective polarization, which um, is actually a parcel of a couple of different um, or a, a parcels divide uh, from a couple of different measures of affective polarization that I won't get into here. So the first thing we need to do is um, get our uh, model description. And so anxiety uh, is composed of, so it should be EM6 plus EM8 plus EM9. And um, yeah, those are the anxiety items. And then polarization is polarization parcel one, parcel two, and parcel three. And the parcels are items from um, an attribution of malevolence scale, a social distance scale, and a negative trait scale. And then we have anxiety is a function of that, let's see should be VC neg, so negative contact, and polarization is a function of anxiety. Um, so here we're not estimating C prime. And so this is, if you don't know how to fit a latent variable in Levon, this is how you do it. It's very simple, um, and I have a video on that. Um, if you don't know how to get uh, regression paths in Levon, it's simple. This is how you do it, and I also have a video for that. Um, now, to get the um, indirect effect, we need to label this path, and I'm going to label it A. You can make the label whatever you want. It could be Z. It could be, you know, Ben. Uh, I'm going to label it A. If you have multiple independent variables, then you might label this A1 and the others A2 and A3. But since we just have the one independent variable on the one mediator, I'm just going to label it A. And then we need to get the... Uh, path labeled for the effect of the mediator on the outcome. And so I'm going to label that B. Um, and then we need to tell it to compute the product of effects. So this is following the um, popular Preacher and Hayes recommendation of uh, computing the product of effects, the product of the A path and the B path, and then uh, bootstrapping that to generate a bootstrapped confidence interval. So I'm going to name this um, end one for indirect effect one. Uh, this is also arbitrary. You can name it whatever you want. Um, and then this colon and equal sign, which I think kind of looks like a cobra. Um, you know, like these are the eyes and these are the fangs. Uh, that is what you do to uh, say, OK, this is what I want to be called IND1. And I'm going to do A times B. So this is the A path, or the effect of negative contact on anxiety, multiplied by the B path, or the effect of anxiety on polarization. Um, and if I'd have labeled this A1, then this would need to be A1. If I'd have labeled this Z, then this would need to be Z. So the reason it's A and B is because A is what I put here, and B is what I put here. Uh, I guess the... It may be a little confusing. The asterisk up here is what I use to say this is, you know, I want this label to be attached to this path. But down here, the asterisk means, you know, multiply this path by this path. Or it's really just multiply whatever parameter is attached to this label. And in this instance, it's the effect of the independent variable on the mediator uh, by whatever estimate is attached to this label. And in this instance, that label is the effect of the mediator on the outcome. So then uh, we need to fit the model. So I'm just going to call it F1. SEM is the command in Levon. 
uh, m1 data equals, I named the data Ben, I named it after me. Um, you're welcome to do the same. And then uh, I prefer the standard uh, latent variable form of identification where you fix the latent variance to one rather than the marker ID. So I always use std.lv equals t. And then um, we need to indicate that we want it to do bootstrapping and we need to tell it how many bootstraps. So I'm going to say bootstrap equals 100 here um, because that's faster. But you can say 1,000. You can say 5,000, that'll take a few minutes depending on your computer. You can say 10,000, that'll really take a few minutes. Uh, since we're making a video here, I'm just gonna say 100. So if we run the syntax, um, you'll see you know, over here it just says, okay, I described the model, it doesn't give us any, you know, all it says is, okay, I understand the model description. Then we run the fit, uh-oh. Mm poll three, it needs to be poll p3. So I had a typo there. Rerun the syntax, fit the model. And then after we get the, after we fit the model, we're gonna want a summary. We're gonna also wanna tell it to give us fit statistics. And I always like the standardized output as well as the R square. And I think since I made the font larger for this video, I need to change, I need to make this output window wider. All right, so you see um, up top, we have our uh, number of model parameters, 14. We have our chi-square and our degrees of freedom. Um, the CFI, 0.993, TLI, 0.988. It's a pretty small, simple model, so no surprise. Our MSEA, 0.04. SRMR 0 0.02, 0 0.026, so model fit looks good. See the loadings for the emotion variable solid, loadings for the polarization parcels, good. Um, here we have the A path, so the effect of the negative contact condition, reading that article about the two people getting in the fight at the fundraiser, did increase anxiety relative to the control condition and anxiety was associated with more political polarization. So the A path and the B path are consistent with our theoretical model. Um, we also get R square on anxiety is 0.188 and R square on polarization is 0 0.03. So anxiety doesn't have a huge influence on polarization. Um, and then we get the de defined parameter, which is that indirect effect, but it doesn't give us the confidence interval. If we want to see the bootstrapped confidence interval, we need to ask for parameter estimates of the fit object. So since I named it F1, we'll ask for parameter estimates of F1. And yeah, I'm going to make this wider again. And so then you see it gives us the parameter estimates for everything in the model. But for testing mediation, we really want to look at the uh, parameter estimates for that um, product term, which I name, which I labeled IND1. And so um, you see you have the estimate, the standard error, but most importantly, you have the lower and upper limits of the confidence interval. And so you see the lower limit of the confidence interval is above zero, as is the upper limit. So the confidence interval being entirely above zero, this is consistent with a significant indirect effect of the experimental treatment on polarization through anxiety. So the interpretation would be that um, if we look at the, um, let's see, if we look at the theoretical model, the interpretation would be that reading that negative contact article was associated with more anxiety, which was associated with greater affective polarization. Um, and because the indirect effect, the confidence interval did not cross zero, the indirect effect is statistically significant, which is consistent with a mediated hypothesis. And all of these values are values that we found in the uh, output, in the summary output, um, and the indirect effect comes from that, um, <clears throat> from the parameter estimates. So that was a pretty quick, simple, and easy explanation of how to do a simple mediation model 
uh, using structural equation modeling with the Levon software developed for R. I hope you found this video interesting and let me know if there's other things you'd like to see in the future.